Hello, today I am back with a new sign, a new color scheme, a new setup, and today I am going to be reviewing the movie Brahms The Boy 2. And this movie's actually been on my radar for a while now. Uh, back in the summer of 2019, there was scheduled to be three different evil haunted doll sequels that were going to be in theaters at the same time. And those movies being uh, the new Child's Play remake, which is actually the eighth in that franchise. There was going to be Annabelle Comes Home. And if you know anything about the Annabelle series, it is a spin-off of the Conjuring series that ended up getting its own prequel. And then Annabelle Comes Home was the third sequel in that franchise. So those two movies did come out. Uh, but the third movie that was going to be in theaters at the same time as those other two was The Boy 2. Uh, but that ended up getting pushed back to December and then again pushed back to February where it just came out this weekend. Uh, it's never a particularly good sign when a movie gets pushed back twice and it doesn't have any real trailers that come out uh, prior to its release. And yeah, unsurprisingly, this is not a great movie. This is probably, no, this is definitely one of the least enjoyable horror movies I've seen in theaters in recent months, uh, definitely within the last year. At least with like other piece of shit horror movies like Black Christmas or Fantasy Island, they were at least stupid enough, dumb enough, or there was something redeemable where I somewhat enjoyed my time going to the movie. But with this, it is so bland, forgettable, across the board that I was absolutely bored out of my mind. It's an hour and a half movie, but it feels more like a two and a half, three hour movie. I, there's really not much I can talk about. I think I forgot most of it within 20 minutes of leaving the theater and I'm reviewing this a day later. I'm just, I'm really struggling to come up with specific points to point out. I mean, like characters, I mean, there weren't really characters in this movie. There's evil doll Brahms, there's mother, father, son, creepy groundskeeper and that's about the extent you're gonna get with these five I mean the dad is a busy businessman that never has time for his kids the mom is a mom the boy is a child actor who spends like 90% of the movie not talking all the scares are the doll sitting in a rocking chair or a kitchen table that gets knocked over that kind of thing I mean I think the review of this actual movie is less interesting than talking about the movie's existence and how it's presented to audiences. I can almost understand making a sequel for The Boy. The first movie, back when it was made, it would cost about $10 million to make and it made about $70 million in theaters worldwide. So a sequel kind of makes sense, but at the same time, $70 million is not an overwhelming amount of money where you just have to make a sequel, especially four years later starring none of the same cast, not that the original cast was that marketable or memorable anyway, it's now starring Katie Holmes, who to my knowledge is not much of a box office draw. And one of the weirdest parts of this movie's presentation to audiences is the title of Brahms The Boy 2. I have no idea why it's not just called The Boy 2, The Boy Returns, The Boy Unearthed, The Boy Strikes Back. It's called Brahms, as if Brahms is a marketable enough name in the same vein as Chucky, Annabelle, a movie called Jason, Jigsaw. I mean, maybe they're trying to start a franchise with that Brahms title front and center. I mean, after seeing this movie, I would be absolutely shocked if we got another boy movie. There's really no redeeming qualities about it. I would not recommend anyone go watch it. Uh, if you're a fan of the first movie, it kind of it changes and removes everything you liked about that first movie. If you didn't like the first movie, this is worse. Um, Anyway, those are my thoughts on The Boy 2, or I guess I should, I should say Brahms The Boy 2. I feel like I should also address, I haven't re uploaded on this channel in about two months. Uh, part of that is that I've been kind of busy. I actually, believe it or not, I teach in an elementary school, but I am going to be trying to upload more frequently. Um, let me know if you like this new setup. I'm in a new room. I got a new sign. I got more lights. I'm trying pink and uh, blue rather than red and blue as if... That's gonna make a huge difference. I feel like I haven't been looking at the camera this whole time. Uh, I got a new camera as well. But uh, anyway, let me know what you thought of either The Boy 1 or The Boy 2, any other, the, any other haunted doll movies that you enjoy. Uh, and yeah, that's it for this review. Bye.